while I've had my lunch and watched my TV, and now it's back to the styrene mines. Well, hello, Glue Troopers. Max and Max's Models here, and a fairly productive little day. I dropped something on the floor. I had to sweep up to find it. When I sifted through with the sweepings, I found a bunch of parts I wasn't even looking for, plus the part I was. And uh, it was the gear to order the tweet, and, or the A37. And I tell you what, this thing has been a bear because all the parts are just, all I'm trying to get into the antennas and everything, and they're just all so tiny, and they're butt joints. They don't have guide holes, so you're, you know, trying to use a, just a dab of glue and just hold them in position until they uh, harden. It's And my big hands in this tiny model, it's been a trick, but... Mostly got the model built now, and then there and, and Academy put just so many itty bitty, nearly microscopic parts on this thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, hopefully tomorrow, maybe if I get a chance, I'll decal it. If not, I'll do it when I get back from my next trip. Got to work on the F4. Got the uh, engines, or I should say, the inside the engine nacelle areas all painted. When I started uh, assembling the intakes and everything, I realized that even though I had pre-painted the inside of the channels, that wasn't the whole thing. So I had to get in there and, and prime and, and paint the inside so it'd all be one color inside. Look up the tailpipe, or if you look down the intake, you'll see the proper colors, including surprisingly a, a buff color on the uh, outgoing uh, power bullet on the exhaust of the engine. But that's what it called for. Because of the large size of the parts, uh, they're easy to deal with, but that does create large gaps. And every build video I've I've seen talked about the intakes have large gaps that have to be taped off, putted, and sanded. So I, you can squeeze them hard enough that they line up, but they tend to warp a little bit if you do. So it's not a big deal, though. I'm uh, very, very happy with the way it's turning out so far. I did get to use the Red Fox cockpit, and I got that, uh, not all of it, because some of it goes in late in the build in the Rio station. And there are a few parts that have uh, the, the Red Fox instrument facings on them that go on uh, in the pilot's cockpit bef just before you put on the windshield because they go up on top of the dash. But everything else is in there. It really made it pop. Looks great. Now, I had heard, and I agree with, you should grind off all the details first. This has both the gray and the black area saves from having to paint it. Although, I, of course, did paint the tub and everything, but primed it, then painted it. So, it's all taken care of, all matches up nicely. And... Uh, first thing I did, though, was put the black around where the canopy seals. And that's in the instruction sheet. And it shows you when to do that. But looks great. Thing really pops. The detail's insane. Um, I'm very thrilled with this. They're, they're not cheap. This was $43. But i got to be honest with you. You get your money's worth out of it. So once I got all that uh, done, let it harden, and then uh, screwed it into the airplane. And yes, it screws into place. There are quite a few screws in this model because it's large size. Uh, got to work on pre-painting some of the uh, metal areas and of course they'll be weathered up a little bit and everything this is just the primed and initial coats but liking the way it's shaping up so far still got tons of work to do on it but rather enjoying the build keeping it organized helps a lot i use ca glue although some folks say you can use uh, white glue to mount the red fox instruments uh, since it said ca glue and i had some i went ahead and used it but i'm sure white glue would do I did, once I got it done, I looked on the table and one of them was on the table that was supposed to be in the cockpit and it, apparently it flaked off while I was handling it. I was able to get it back in there though, so uh, that's done. And that's where we're at for right now. Tomorrow is the live stream and uh, I'll probably get a little building done tomorrow, but then the next day I got to head off to work and be back next week and of course planning another live stream the following weekend. But we'll see how far I can go with this. I want to thank everyone who's been sending me the Phantom Facts blog spot with all the antennas. We're squared away on that. And uh, that's where we're pretty much sitting right now. So I uh, will talk to everybody later. Take care of yourselves. And as always, model on.